In today's video, I'm going to take you through a 20 minute hip osteoarthritis workout. So we've got 10 exercises, we're doing two rounds and we're doing 30 seconds of work and 30 seconds of rest. All you'll need for this uh, workout is a step. If you don't have a step, it's not absolutely essential. There's a variation we can, we can do instead. I've got a timer in front of me, there'll be a timer in the corner for you. So follow along and let's get started. Now, first exercise that we're going to do is very simple. Get ourselves nice and warm, get that heart rate up. We're gonna do some marching on the spot. We go in two, one, off we go. So just gentle steps up and down. <clears throat> excuse me, trying to get that heart rate up nice and gradually, increase your body temperature, temperature gradually as well. If you wanna do smaller steps because it's a bit sore on the knees or the hips, then just do small steps to begin with and then you can gradually work up, get slightly higher as you improve. Nearly there. Perfect, okay, so second exercise is gonna be a side step. now. I haven't got anything in front of me, but if you wanted to grab a chair, you could hold onto the back of the chair for some support. You could do it next to your kitchen surface for some support, or even just doing it next to a wall, just to pop your hand on the wall. It's gonna be perfect, make you feel nice and safe. So first one, side step. So we're just gonna step out to the right, step back in. Step out to the right and step back in. And then two, one, off we go. So step out to the right and step back in. Out to the right and back in. If you found this quite easy, what you could do is add a little bit of a lunge in at the end. So you're pushing off that knee and to start pushing back up into a standing position. If you just want to do a tap and then come back, that's fine as well. So we're going to do right leg for this round and then we're going to do left leg next. Perfect. So next one, exactly the same. This time we're going out to the left. Step out to the side, back in, step out to the side, back in. If you needed to hold on, hold on. So we know that in trying to improve mobility and strength, the two of the best things that you can do if you have osteoarthritis. So trying to fit this routine, this workout into your routine during the week is going to be a really good way of trying to manage your symptoms as best you possibly can. So ready, out to the side, back in, out to the side and back in. Again, if you want to add a little bit of a lunge in there, because you're finding it a bit too easy, then just lunge to the side. You feel a bit of stress on the outside of the hip there, and then back to the middle. <clears throat> Perfect. If 30 seconds feels like it's a bit too much, you might do 10 seconds, have a little rest, and then you can do another 10. Perfect, okay, so next one, it's gonna be some hip extension. So you're gonna extend the hips. So you're gonna bring the hip backwards and then back into standing. Bring the hip backwards and then into standing. Again, wanna put your hands on something for some support? That's absolutely fine. We're gonna go, let's do right leg first. That's what we did last time. So we're gonna go right leg first and then the next one, we're gonna do the left. So going in two, one, extend that leg out behind and back to the middle. Extend that leg out behind and back to the middle. If you need to hold on, just pop your hands down. And you should feel a bit of a pull in your buttock and in the lower back. So lower back strength is, is really important for, for hip function as well as, the, as well as the hip muscles themselves. Keep that going if you can, all the way for that 30 seconds. Perfect. And what you'll find with this, when you're doing one side or the other with this exercise, even the leg that's just doing the standing, it's still gonna be working because it's having to balance, it's having to control that movement and you've got all of your weight on that leg. So get yourself comfy, get yourself ready for the, for the next one. And this time, left leg's going backwards. So get yourself nice and stable. And then in three, two, one, we're gonna go so left side this time, squeezing your tummy muscles, squeezing your bottom muscles, and get that leg back behind. Try and keep your knee nice and straight. Try not to sort of turn your foot out to the side. Try and keep your toes pointing forwards. 
and also with these standing exercises try not to compensate so if you feel like there's a point that you can't go any further try not to lean forwards try and keep your trunk nice and upright perfect okay next one is going to be a squat so get your chair for some balance if you wanted to but you're gonna have hips sort of hip width apart and imagine you're gonna sit down into a chair so hips go backwards stick your bum out when you look down you should be able to see your knee your, you should be able to see your toes and you shouldn't see your knees disappear over your toes so bottom out stand back up bottom out stand back up why do we need to do a squat sometimes it can sound a bit scary if you've got hip or, or knee pain we need to squat if you want to get out of a chair if you want to get out of the car if you want to get off the loo so it's just about practicing things that may be a bit of a challenge so that you get better at doing them perfect okay right next exercise is going to be hip abduction you're going to be on that one leg again whilst the other leg is doing the work so if you did want to hold on to something feel free so right leg is going to be doing the work hands out in front if you need to and then you're going to abduct the leg so you're going to bring the leg out to the side and then slowly back to the middle leg out to the side and then slowly back to the middle give you a few pointers along the way so arms out for a bit of balance leg out to the side and then back to the middle now you want to keep your toes facing forwards you don't want to do this and you want to try and keep that knee nice and straight and keep everything square on try not to turn your body and keep that leg nice and straight and you should feel those muscles on the outside of the hip working hard and you'll feel this one working hard too trying to stabilize you whilst you're on that one leg okay next one changing it up opposite side so left leg is going to be doing the work for this one in the garden today because unusually warm in england at the moment 30 degrees and it's hotter inside so we're going to get our sweat on outside today so left leg's doing the work this one i was out front two one off we go so you're going to come out to the side back to the middle out to the side back to the middle try and keep those toes facing forwards try not to let that trunk tilt over to the side and then you're going to come back to the middle great work well done keep it up couple more to go for round one oh, good work and just work through a range that's comfy if you feel like that's too far for you that's fine just do 50 percent and then come back in perfect okay two more this is where the step comes in if you haven't got a step at home just take a step forwards drive up with the opposite leg and then take a step back step forwards drive up with the opposite leg and then take a step back if you have got a step you don't need one of these you can just do it on the bottom step at home you're going to use that so let's go right leg first we're going to drive up and come back down drive up and come back down off we go if that's too hard hold on hold on hold on it's not cheating you need to be stable you need to build, be balanced and you need to feel safe if you're going to work on trying to get things stronger if you're wobbly it's very difficult to load those hips and load the load the joint if you're all over the place you need to feel stable so hold on to a wall hold on to your kitchen surface wherever you're doing it bottom step at home and then you'll feel more in control perfect okay last exercise for this round is going to be same thing but the other side so left leg this time then we can get a well-earned drink okay 20 seconds now we know the two most important things for osteoarthritis the only two things there is strong evidence for is exercise in varying capacities and weight loss if appropriate okay so we have to try and keep moving we have to try and keep exercising <coughs> So left leg this time and it's really important it's not just about the joint okay if we have got a joint pain and we gradually see a decline in our activity levels and our exercise that's not just going to affect your joint pain that's going to affect everything it's going to affect your cardiovascular system 
your respiratory system. It's going to affect your gastrointestinal system. It's going to affect everything. So if we want to kind of make sure we're decreasing our risk of things we don't really want, like high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, we need to find ways of keeping active. So that's round one out of the way. Grab yourself a little sup of water. And we go in again. Okay, so get this out of the way. First one, marching on the spot. So if you need to hold on to something, hold on to something. And then we go in up and down. So back to why is exercise important? It's vital. If we want to keep keep active, if we want to keep healthy, taking a kind of active approach to managing your osteoarthritis is not just going to help your osteoarthritis, it's going to help all of your other systems as well and if exercise is too sore i promise you i promise you i promise you there will be something that you can do with the symptoms that you have i've never treated a patient with osteoarthritis and not been able to find anything that they can do okay we go in stepping out to the right and back so it's just about playing around with things regressing things adapting things maybe changing the amount of impact we're doing it might be that we're doing some exercises in the pool it might be that we're using a bike or a cross trainer but we we keep it moving that's the that's the message okay right we're going out to the side to the right back into standing out to the side to the right and back into standing off we go so if you have any question if you're struggling with your joint pain and you're not sure what you can do what you can't do drop a question below the video I'll, I answer every question that anybody ask in the comment section below so ask away we need to keep keep active and keep mobile good okay last few do a really good job past halfway guys so that is positive perfect right same thing opposite leg so next one left leg out and then back to the middle i'm frowning a little bit because the sun is bright in the uk today so get your breaths back enjoy the rest have a little sit down if you've got a chair you've been using a chair to hold on to 10 seconds to go and then we're going to go onto the left side all right off we go so left leg out back to the middle left leg out back to the middle like i said before if you fancy doing a little lunge out to the side and push back that's going to get that lateral hip that outer hip working a little bit harder good five seconds left good our favorite noise perfect right next one back to those hip extensions so in a standing position, holding on if you need to, we're going to go right leg. I'll turn around so you can see me actually. So right leg out behind, keeping that knee nice and straight, keeping the toes facing forwards. Try not to lean forwards. Okay. A few deep breaths in and out. Get ready for the next one. And we're going in three, two, one. Good. Okay. Squeezing your bum cheeks, squeezing your tummy. Keep that knee nice and straight good great work really feel that pull in the lower back brilliant keep it up great work okay how long we got left five seconds perfect our favorite noise lovely okay right same again other side So if you're finding any of these exercises a bit too uncomfortable, just play around with things. You can do it for less time. You can do them through less range of movement. You can do less repetitions. You can do them slower. You can just do a, a tap and a rest rather than keep him moving. So there's lots of ways that we can make things easier or harder. In the same way, if you're finding it too easy, we can make it harder. So if this one, for example, and the, the hip abduction, the one out to the side, you could just grab a little resistance band, pop that around your ankles, and that'll get this working a lot harder. Good work. 
feeling that in the lower back. Try and keep that knee nice and straight. Great work. Perfect, okay, so next exercise, it's gonna be a squat. Get that timer back up. Okay, so we side on, feet sort of hip width apart, sticking the bum out, standing back up. If you, um, if you have hip arthritis, you may have found that you've been compensating a little bit. So you've been using your arms more to get out of the chair. If we get into that cycle for a prolonged period, it's getting harder and harder. So you've got to practice it. If you do find getting out of a chair difficult and you want to practice it, you could stick a few cushions on your bottom to raise you up slightly. That'll be a bit easier to begin with. And as you practice, you can get rid of those pillows and you can do it just on the chair. And when you're finding that quite easy, you can get rid of the chair and go a little bit lower. Great work. So squats are a great one if you've got knee or hip osteoarthritis. Beautiful. Okay, what's next? Hip abduction, so that's out to the side. So get your breath back. If you need another drink, have another drink. Doing really, really well. Three quarters of the way through already. Just a few left to go. And then you're gonna feel like you've achieved something. You're gonna feel like you've really done well, whatever time of the day you decide to do it. Okay, right, we're ready. So holding on if you need to. Leg out to the side, back to the middle. Leg out to the side, back to the middle. Keep those toes facing forwards. Keep your trunk nice and straight. Great work. So this is the one I was saying earlier. If you needed a resistance band around the ankles just to make it a bit harder, then you could hold on and pop a loop around the ankles and that's gonna get those glutes, those muscles on the outside of the hip working a lot harder. Okay, fine. Off to the left. The reason we're doing it on both sides is because often if you find that you've got pain in one side, you spend a bit more time on the other side. You're not compensating slightly. So there's definitely no harm in strengthening up both sides so that the unaffected side, if you like, can also try and maintain that extra load that might be going, it, going through it for a, for a period of time. Okay, so. Ready, off we go. Left leg out to the side, and then back to the middle. Great work. Nearly there, guys. We've got a couple left after this, and then you've smashed it. Oh, okay, great work. Well done. Concentrate, last 10 seconds. Good work. Oh, my gosh, so, so toasty today. Good. Last one. Beautiful, okay. Step up, going for the right step up. I think that we need to appreciate when we exercise, there's so much stuff that goes on in our body that's gonna help your osteoarthritis. It's gonna help with stiffness, it's gonna help with strength, but it's gonna make you feel better. It's gonna make you feel like you've achieved something. And because I'm not very good at multitasking, I'm gonna keep an eye on the timer and tell you whilst I'm doing the exercise. Right foot up coming up and back down. And when we exercise, we have naturally occurring anti-inflammatory chemicals in our body. That basically means you've got naturally occurring pain relief in your system. A naturally occurring pain relief that's gonna help your joint pain, but it only gets released when you move. So you have to move in order to release this anti-inflammation, but it acts in exactly the same way as your ibuprofen does, as your naproxen does, as your non-steroidal anti-inflammatories do. So that's why one of the biggest reasons it's so important to, to keep moving, because you can produce your own pain relief. Okay, last one, nearly there, left side, then you can give yourselves a pat on the back, and we're done for today. Right. Okay. I'm gonna really put last max effort in for the last one. So up on the left side and then down. So drive up with the right and down. Just drive up with the right and then down. If you're not using this step, that's fine. You're just doing the same thing. Just driving up with the opposite leg, taking a step out in front. Step up, back down. If you need to hold on, 
hold on, that's not cheating, don't worry. Make yourself nice and stable, make yourself feel nice and safe. Three, two, one. Great work. Okay, well done guys. Brilliant effort, 20 minutes of work for that hip arthritis. Hopefully it's feeling a little bit better now. If you have enjoyed today's video, show your appreciation by liking it. And if you haven't, subscribe down there. So you get notified every time I release a new video, which I do every single week. And it also means more people will hopefully see the video that you found helpful. Whilst you're doing that, I'll see you in the next one.